Hi everybody, Vicky Bill here, and I have a really fun scrapbook expo kind of haul. And also, it was the very first time that I ever did the Mega Make and Take, which is on the Thursday night in Ontario, California. If you know, I worked for the company, or I still I still work because I worked this show, but I I did the Make and Take for the fir very first time. Um, this year and it was so much fun if you get a chance in the expos ever in your neighborhood I know they have I think they have 10 to 12 shows a year and it is I I only ever worked the event but this time I got to take the the classes and it was so fun so you get there at two o'clock and you are given this a bag like this filled with projects and every half hour or 45 minutes, you make a project. And that's what we did. And I, I'll i show you at the end, but just really uh, quickly, I I loved it. I, I, I just had the best time. Here's the schedule right there. And then I'll just go ahead and show you the projects. I made most of them. The only ones I didn't make was because I was uh, getting a bite to eat. But yes, yeah, so that was from the Ton Stamps. And they did like really um, beautiful bookmark and showed how to stamp. And then this one was from Cat Scrappiness. And yeah, so you guys, we made all of these little cards and projects in that time. And then not only that, on the perimeter, uh, they also had selling going on. And they were giving like really good deals on the companies that were there and selling. So it was even before Expo started because Expo is on Friday and Saturday, but this is Thursday um, from 10 and it ends at I think 11. And so they had sales there and I'm like, you know me, your girl Vicky Vill loves a sale. So I was like, yes. Okay, then we had um, Brass and Bliss, formerly known as Rubbernecker. It was so nice to see Rob and all the gang again. I, I love them and I'm such a cute little card. It was awesome. Then we have this, um, we made this shaker so easy. If you get a chance, uh, I, because I was working, I wasn't able to like shop as much as I wanted. Uh, but Crazy Creation has such beautiful glitter paper and it's so easy to work with. It's so much fun. So we did make this card and I forgot how much I loved doing it and using it. It was so fun. Then um, Scrappy Boy Stamps was there. And we made, of course, I was obsessed because it's Cinderella. That's my favorite princess. So we made that card. So cute. Yeah, we did a lot. It was so much fun. And then uh, Stamplistic did this step card right here. That was so pretty. And then Spellbinders. We did this card by Spellbinders. So cute. Let's see. I'm just trying to show you how fun and that you should really go. Then scrap that we did. This was so cool. It was like a kit and you, um, we made, I, yeah, we made like two cards, I think, but it was a kit and like he sells these card kits and they were so rad. I'm like, wow, that's so easy if you're a beginning um, scrapbooker or if you want to craft but you don't want to be real creative and you want to just go to a, an event I was like I'm gonna buy all those because those are fun just to like be with your friends like at a crop or something but you still feel like you're working I think that was really cool so and then this is K and C essentials and we made that card so cute and then be creative we did a 12 by 12 layout and that was really really pretty and then Crafty Meraki, we did this fun shaker card bookmark. I'm sorry. So cute. And then Chalk Couture, we did a little sign that we could, it was like a magnet for your fridge or whatever. And then last but not least was Keep It Simple. And we made this awesome little mini album. So that was so much fun. If you get a chance, like I said, go and go to and take the class or go do the mega make and take on that Thursday it is so fun there's so many things to buy as well and so yeah I'll, I'll just show you really fast um each class each thing came with its own little baggie so that was 
Be Creative. This is K and C Essential. This was Stamplistic. This was Cat Scrappiness. This was Spellbinders. This was um, Scrappy Boy Stamps. So you see how nicely they're packaged and it's so, it's just so fun too. Like that was uh, Be Creative. This was the um, Scrap That. Like I said, it, had, it came with that whole kit and we made two cards, but you still have all kinds of stuff to, to do after. Um, this was the Crafty Meraki bookmark. And then we got these Tombow um, Twin Tone Rainbow Markers. I love these for my planner, so that was fun. You got that in your bag um, from the expo, and that was so cool. And yeah, so I had the best time. Where is the, I have the, I was gonna show you to keep it simple. Cause I'm, I bought the die. That's what's so cool is when you make something, then you realize how much you love it. And then I bought the die from Keep It Simple because I'm like, oh, I wanna, I wanna make that over and over and over again. And I actually worked in the Keep It Simple booth the whole weekend. And I was like selling these babies like no tomorrow because it's so much fun. Look at this. It, it's, it's just like that. And then it you make it and it turns out like that. So can you imagine you could do it for any holiday, any birthday, any, you know, even if you're a teacher and you wanna make a little craft with your, your class or whatever. I thought that was just so cute. And it could also be like a fun little um, class that you're giving. And, and it came with all of the things to make. I didn't finish it because you could make like a shaker front or whatever, but I thought that was really cute. And yeah, and they also sell this by itself. If you didn't want to buy the die, you could make it on its own. So I thought that was really cool. So that was the make and, Mega Make and Take, the first the first day. And let me go ahead and show you. I did buy just a few things because I was, like I said, I was busy um, working on the, the different projects. But I also love a deal. So I first went to Scrap That. He always has the best deals. Bob from New Jersey. So I got this um, whole set. And I believe these were, I think they were like $14 each, but you got the whole collection. This is the Say Cheese at the Park. And I, I know that they're not like the newest collections, but for my trips to Disney, I, I love it just for like my planner or whatever. And then I got this to go, it's like a snap book to make um, like a little memory album with that. Then I got this one called Crafty Things. And so like you got the whole kit in there. So you get 12 sheets of double-sided paper, 12 cardstock stickers, simple pages, paste, pieces, six by 12 chipboard stickers and journal bits and pieces. And so I thought that was a good deal. I love paper. I'm like a paper obsessed. And then this one, I think he also had, uh, he had a sale where you could buy three different page kits for like $25. So fall, I love the fall vibes of this one. So I got that. And these are all from Simple Stories. Then I got Simple Vintage Dear Santa. And I thought this would be perfect for my um, December daily that I'm gonna be starting here soon. I already bought it. I have a Frank Garcia haul that I wanna share with you as well. So that's gonna be coming. And then this is the Magic Memories album kit. And I, I don't remember the price. Ah. <laughs> I don't remember the price for this one, but you get a lot in here, and I can't wait to put, um, play with that. I went with my sister-in-law Jeanette, and we had a really good time. And she, we, I know that we both were so jazzed about Scrap That. We bought a lot from Scrap That, and then she bought a lot from Scrappy Boy. And I was like, oh, I'll, I'll get to that tomorrow, but I just ran out of time. So I had to run over there while I was working. I think I only got a, a couple of things, but I can't wait to play with them. They're so good. Okay. Oh, I also got this from um, Scrap That. I, you can never go wrong with uh, double-sided tape. And it's like that foam, that thick tape for like shaker cards. 
Okay, then I went to uh, Brass and Bliss, and I absolutely love their, they had a bunch of um, paper that was pre-cut, and what I love about this, I've been doing this lately, you guys, is I went and got from Hobby Lobby the little, the, the little four by six paper pads, and I'm like, why did I buy that? I'll never use it, and I thought I would use it to like back um, photo mats, you know, for my scrapbook. But what they're really convenient for is when you want to just cut your die cuts and you don't want to cut the whole paper. It's like the perfect size for your sidekick, you know, to, for just like your little dies that you're cutting. And so I've been, I've been obsessed with like little pieces. And so these were each $2. And I'm like, look at that for all of your when you need to cut a simple die. Then this was, I thought this was awesome. Look at all the colors right there. And this was $3, but for like titles and things. And you know, um, I thought that was awesome. Then the nicest paper from the paper cut, beautiful white cardstock. And I thought, oh, I don't even have to cut for a card. It's already done for me. The, and so I got two of these, these were $2 you know, for stamping on a card or whatever. Then I thought this was perfect for slimline cards, already cut, I don't need, I don't need to measure nothing. And this was uh, $2.50. And then this was a uh, crystal diamond glitter paper. And I thought it was so pretty. I love this for titles. And so I got this um, white and I got several different colors. I got this beautiful like pink, turquoise, and green and I'm gonna be using these absolutely for all of my Christmas crafting so I thought those were so cute and these were $4.50 each and I thought was an amazing deal from Brass and Bliss formerly known as the paper cut okay then let's see uh, last but not least I from Spellbinders uh, Jeanette my sister-in-law got this and I'm like I want that too and so it's the Spellbinders Holiday Fun Advent Calendar, and I believe it was on sale at the show for $20, regularly like 50, I believe. So I was like, that is a deal. And I cannot wait to open this every day on my Instagram. So if you wanna see what I get, it's gonna be coming on uh, December 1st. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. So that was awesome. Okay, then the next day, like I said, I didn't, get a chance because I was working in the Keep It Simple booth and if you came to say hi to me, hi. I know I had met so many of you when I worked for Expo traveling across the country and uh, hopefully I can do a couple shows this coming year. I'd love to see you, but I just, you guys all came and talked to me and a lot of you were talking about how you um, watched Dave and I, you know, Expo Dave and Sean during the pandemic where we were all quarantined and we had our live broadcast and you were all saying such kind things about how you looked forward to seeing us together and how, you know, it, it, it got you out of the, you know, just the, the sadness of just, you know, what we were going through as a country and so, or as a, as a world really. But uh, I really appreciated your kind words. Thank you for coming up to me and letting me know because we really, we really did um, want to do that. We wanted to make, you know, us as crafters, the shows couldn't go on, but we still wanted to be like, we're there with you in spirit. Let's craft at home, let's do this. And so you guys crafted along with me and Dave and Sean and everybody. And now that the shows are back, we're like, go, let's go. Let's, let's get back and do crafting. It's just like, it's cheaper than therapy, right? <laughs> That's what I tell my husband. So I'm like, yes. So it's so much fun. But I just, I just wanted to say, I loved seeing you. Okay, then uh, since I wasn't working in the uh, Keep It Simple booth and I saw all the beautiful things, I was like, you know when you're working, you're like, I want that, I want that, I want that, I want that. So I did get some things from the Keep It Simple booth. I'm trying to see if I got everything. Okay, so they have a beautiful new collection. And since I've been, I'm working on Christmas crafts now, this one is called Here Comes Santa Claus. And I love the traditional colors of it all. And the Santa is so cute. Look at him, he is just adorable. So I got the 12 by 12. I also got the stamp set. 
So I, I've already colored um, them as well. And they are just so cute. I love that chunky Santa and that that tree is just adorable. And then the little reindeer almost looks like Betsy to me. So I was like, oh, so cute. But that is that. Then I got the die for that so that I can make a million and not have to fussy cut. Okay. Then I love making um, cards. I'm not that good at shaker, but I promise in Val to get better because I'm going to show you what's going to help me with that next. But this was super cute. And I just love this kind of, um, you know, like card base where I can use that on everything. I have the original Back to Basics stamp set that goes with this die. And I'm so glad they made a die for it because I was fussy cutting it. And now they have the die. So how awesome I can make all kinds of titles and not have to, they have the die now. So that's rad. Then these tags here, which you could make shakers or you could, you know, the sky's the limit. And that's why I'm coloring all of my Christmas, um, all of these goodies here, all of these images. That's the word I was looking for. Cause I want to make homemade tags for all my gifts this year. So I'm trying to get a jump start on that, but I'm using this die to um, get that done. Okay, then this is just like that mini album that I showed you, the pop-up, which was the square, but this is a heart. And you know me, I love anything that has to do with hearts. So I had to get that and I cannot wait to make a little mini album uh, with this and it could be like for any holiday, so rad. And then I had to get the die. I've already started playing with it. <laughs> so there's going to be something coming up to show you. But uh, I had to get this one. So that was the class that we took at the Mega. And I, I loved it. And I was, I was, we sold out of that die because I was selling that like crazy. I, I just thought it was so cute. And then the last thing from our two of the last things because i'm playing with one of them so there was a stamp set and i love that there's all these sentiments that we definitely need like you know um believe christmas tis the season greetings um holly don't open until december 25th merry christmas there's all kinds of different combinations that you can make with all these and there's some examples on the back of the stamp set and I like, ooh, that's so perfect. Cause I'm always like, I love to color, I love, but I never know which the right sentiment. So this was perfect for that. And then I don't want to show you because I'm working on my things. Let me try this. Like I'm already doing this, but they also have the word dies, and I think they are so cute from Keep It Simple. They have so awesome. I'll just show you what I've cut already. I'll probably do a post on this, but like. I've already done, like, that's the greetings. This one is Christmas. This is believe. Um, this is tis the season. And I use the, the, this paper too, because I wanna, I wanna um, show that holly. And then I have the ho, ho, ho. And then jolly. So it's a really fun and it's a great die to have for those titles that are just so cute. Okay, this, you guys, I feel is a game changer. Uh, at the Keep It Simple booth, we not only had, you know, all the rad stuff, but we also had uh, make a make and take there. And we were um, doing it for a dollar, or we were making them for a dollar. Let me show you what it was. Do I have it in here? Yes. So you got this little um tag and we were um you had got the whole thing and it was a dollar to make and it was so cute but why i'm so jazzed about it is this is the new shaker basic six by nine foam adhesive and acetate sheet and i am telling you guys this is amazing what i love about it is and not only because i was working the booth but i was like ah, i need that in my life because i'm Horrible shakers, if I give them, I'm like, please let them work because I'm always afraid everything's gonna fall through, which it does. With this, it's like not gonna happen. Also, they have six sheets, but they have different widths. So, you know, like when you just wanna do maybe like a glitter bit in the center, then it's like, you don't need it to be that thick. But say you want like clay parts and there are like chunkier things, you have a thicker dimension on 
the um, foam. I mean, hello, how broad is that? And then it also comes with the acetate on top of it. I, these sold out as well. I mean, I was like, I, I, I almost, they were almost gone and I'm like, oh shoot, I forgot to get, get one myself. So I had to get one. I cannot wait to make so many shakers with this. You guys have to get this. Go to the Keep It Simple or website, uh, Keep It Simple Paper Crafts. I'm telling you, this is epic. Get that, get this whole line. It's amazing. Those dies, I'm telling you, these are so cute. And just think of the endless possibilities that you can make things with this. I mean, hands down, so good. Okay, and then last but not least, I did go, I ran, because I'm like, oh my God, I didn't even get to shop at all. So I had to run and go to my buddy, one of my besties, Scrappy Boy Stamps. I'm so proud of him, he's doing so well. I'm just, I love him and I love him and Dave, seeing them is like so crazy. Seeing everybody, like everybody at the show, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's like family to me. You know, when you work for a company for so long and then you, you're you just like, it, you pick up like nothing ever, you know, like I didn't just not see you for three years. Like it was so nice to be back there. So go to an expo, it's so much fun. But let me show you, I wanted to like spend everything there, but I didn't have time. And my sister-in-law bought a lot too, so I'll go and <laughs> I'll go and work with her at her house. But I had to get the gingerbread house. I love Sean's dies. They are so, so nice and so fun. And all the examples that he had on his board, I'm like, oh, I wanna make that. So I had to get that for Christmas. Then uh, when he put this out, you know me, and you know I love my overalls. Like fashion is my passion, but overalls is my favorite thing. And so when I saw that he had these overalls, I'm like, oh my gosh, I could make overalls in any color, any holiday, anything, I gotta get this. So I was so glad to get that. And then last but not least, I love this. It's the sweatshirt. You know me, I love anything to make clothes. <laughs> and so I had to get the sweatshirt as well. So you're gonna be seeing a lot of fun things popping up or things that I've created. I'm working on my Christmas. I'm gonna show um, that probably today, but thank you guys for being here. I Sorry it's so long, but I just had so much fun and I wanted to get this video made before I forgot. But I'm in my new craft room and I love it. You guys, it's so rad in here. And I just thank you for being here. I hope to see you again soon. And always remember, keep it crafty. Your girl Vicky Villa loves you. Bye.